Hey guys, Zekt here and welcome to my new video. Um, this is the second part of the new awakening skills and if you missed the first part, um, I will link you the first video in the description box below. Like uh, all classes that are not named in the description that that are in the other video, they are in the other video. So if you want to see those, just click in the description box below. So we get uh, we got all the for for the remaining class the new awakening skills. Also, we got some changes to the existing awakening new awakening skills. I will not show them now. I will wait one week until they also change the new skills for those classes now. So we have the finalized version from it, and then I will make another video where I can show all the finalized versions from all classes from all skills. So today we are starting with Shy because I think Shy got a cool skill and uh, I think it's something uh, uh, I think Shy play will enjoy this. Um, I have no idea what it's, this skill is called. Um, also it was a bit so tricky to like find out what it does. Um, I think I know what it does now. If there's other effects to it I didn't figure out now then sorry for that but basically um, this skill changes the mechanic of your kit a bit so normally you have for example Misty Haze you have your debuff buff skill super armor while playing the instrument the same with the lose of light um, also you can see this if you um, if wait a sec let me check the button input if you go to you can see while you're playing the instrument the super armor effect is applied so when you um, activate this buff now this will actually change and uh, also I have to sh show another thing like the bongos also super armor stiffen on your tits they are stationary like can't move they're just stationary and I think they like after you casted them they last about like for five seconds or so and then they disappear now if we activate this buff here few things will happen now like it has zero second cooldown and five seconds five minute duration if there's a way how you can disable the buff again like I, I've not figured it out yet but uh, maybe there will be a way how to disable it with one click however when you use your buff skills now like you see the super armor is not applied anymore so you don't have a super armor on your skill like Misty Haze or the same for the loser's light also, while playing the instrument, no super armor apply to it. However, if you use your bongos now, super armor is applied to that. And, um, wait a second. And you can move with the bongos now. So, also you see that the bongo field is kind of there and not there. I have no idea if the stiffen is applied all the time or just the stiffen is applied when the field is active. But as you can see, you can just move with the bongos around now. It lasts way longer. Way longer. <laughs> and uh, you can do this also with your other skills. I think those skills are not really good. Um, I don't play Shy, but I don't see Shy's using that skill. But uh, you also can use that uh, with that skill here. It will recast the skill all the time and you can move with that. And this is what I think what it works. It just changes the mechanic to like disables your super armor in the in the buff skills and enables you to move with uh, stuff like bongos. Um, if there's if there are other effects to the skill, um, we have to figure it out like when it comes out. But for now, this is the only thing I was able to figure out. But I think this is a cool thing for shy players and give them some flexibility. And um, yeah, guys, that was it for shy. So uh, we move on to the next class. Next up, we have Musa. Musa also got a really cool new awakening skill. I don't like always. I don't know what it's called. Um, it has a decent round uh, 3 hits, max 2 hits, 50% crit rate, PvE and PvP, uh, 10 targets, uh, all accuracy rate 9% for 10 seconds, so actually Awakening Musa get an accuracy buff now that he can maintain 100% of the time, which really cool, uh, super armor, down attack damage, uh, that, it, what is, that it, what it looks like. Really cool in my opinion, also I can show you one flow, like how it looks it flows from i think there are probably more options and oh, maybe we'll see even more options but that is what it looks like from there you can see it was from cross cut into back flow into new skill into dash slash 
I can show it once more. Really looks cool, full superpower, accuracy buff. So nice new skill for Musa. Next we have um, Hashashim. Hashashim also got, um, I think it's a more mo of a movement combo skill. Um, it's like okay amount of damage, 100% crit rate, floating on good hits with the air attack. That's probably good damage here. Um, it's this, this is what it looks like. Unsafe though. And it flows from your iframe, so I can also really quickly show that. Looks like that. You don't uh, get your stamina back while you're using it. But you also don't consume stamina, so... Yeah, it's okay-ish, I would say. Um, to be honest, I was a bit surprised that Sashashin got a movement skill and uh, maybe combo skill, but we have to see how Sashashin, what they will do with that. And also, um, maybe they will change a few things. Because to be honest, I expected more of a damage skill for Sashashin Awakening Kid instead of some movement uh, combo stuff. But I think that's it can have its place. Um, so we have to see how the world works, but I think that's a cool skill. So let's move on to the next class. All right, next up we have uh, Valkyrie. Um, Valkyrie got a new Frontal Guard skill, I think it was. Decent amount of hits, um, good damage, crit, critical health rate so 50%, PvP and PvE, accuracy rate 3%, uh, all DP shred minus 10 for 10 seconds, forward guard while using, down attack modifier. Um, I have no idea from which like skills this is flowing, but I can just show it to you now. This is what it looks like. Um, I don't know if you can... Oh, shit. If you maybe can cancel that after the first... That doesn't look like it, but probably Valkyrie, Valkyrie players will find a way how to deal with that skill. But I think it's a cool skill. Good damage. Frontal guard skill. Um, not too bad. I think it's a cool skill, but... Uh, I'm not a Valkyrie player, so Valkyrie player need to need to judge on that one. So let's then move on to the next class. So next class we have the Ninja. Ninja also got a um, really cool new skill. Um, like always, I don't know what it's called. It has a um, decent amount of hits, 15% uh, crit rates, PvP and PvP, 4% accuracy rate. Invincible when disappeared, stiffness on first good hit and the down attack modifier. Um, the iframe is in the middle of the skill and that is what it looks like. So the first and the last setup are kind of unsafe and the middle part is an iframe. Also the sound animation seems like, it seems to be like at the very end. I think it's a cool skill. Ninja players definitely have to judge on that one. Um, I think that's unsafe. It's a bit problematic, but maybe it's a good combo skill. Um, we don't know yet. Also, maybe it gets changed. Like all the skills, maybe get changed. We got already a few changes to um, existing new skills for the ex for the other classes, and I will definitely keep you updated on that. But this is a new skill for Ninja. Alright, next we have the Nova. Um, from, I haven't done the Awakening Quest for Nova yet, but I can just show you the, the skill preset here. It's um, There was a bug recently for the first thing that you co couldn't show them off the skill menu, but now you can. Um, it's uh, 6 hits, a 1 hit stage, critical hit rate 50% uh, PvP and PvE, accuracy rate 5%. Honestly, this is um, definitely for your on guards, so it regularly gets yourself like your on guard percentage back. Bound on good hits, down attack modifier, and that is what it looks like. It's unsafe though, so uh, be careful with it, but it seems to be in front of you, so maybe you can get some good CCs with that. Also, the range seems to really like. Uh, more than it like yeah like you see those tornadoes here the range is pretty huge i think so i think that's a cool skill even if it's unsafe maybe you can use it in some situations now yeah this is the new skill for nova so next we have the archer 
Archer, same, um, haven't done the awakening quest yet, um, but I can show you the skill now on the skill menu. Um, it's uh, hit damage, uh, like three hits. I think it's not really a damage skill, it's more like a movement skill. It's 50% crit rate, PvP and PvE, 3% accuracy rate, 20 MP recovery every uh, get hits. I frame, then super armor while using the skill. So the first part of it is an iframe. frame. So probably the where you are on the air is an iframe, frame and when you land it's a super armor. Looks like that. I think it's really cool. It gives the archer more movement capabilities. Um, he's more flexible. Also, he has another iframe into super armor that gives him more. Um, yeah, he can can dodge damage now. Also, the cool the cooldown is eight seconds. It's or mid cooldown, I would say. So, uh, if you want to dodge more damage and you used your 25% um, rage for that, maybe you use this skill instead of now. I think it's a really cool addition to the Yacha kit and give him any more, like, yeah, more flexibility options in the close combat fight and to dodge damage. Next up we have the warrior and also here I haven't done the awakening quest yet because uh, I don't play low laps much and um, yeah uh, so the next skill for the the skill for uh, warrior is I have no idea what it's called it looks like a bit like solar flare into I think it was was it reckless no no it was uh, overwhelm yeah, like that. Like it looks like a little solar flare to cast some kind of a one. So it's an unsafe skill. It's an unsafe floating it hits, decent amount of damage, deep percent accuracy rate. Not much to say about it. It's unsafe though. So it's a bit, it's a risky engage, but maybe as a refloat, um, if you already have CC to your opponent, you can use that. If you like, let's say you hit a spear, like with your spear, you stiffen your target with the spear. Maybe you can follow up with this one. Um, I don't know. Warriors have to judge on this skill and will find um, things how to fight with it. However, like I said again, like this skill is not finalized. Most likely there will come uh, changes like uh, this week, and we will go over all changes next week. So, um, but uh, yeah, this is the next. This is the skill for Warrior. All right, now we go to Kuno. Uh, Kuno also I haven't done the awakening quest, so uh, I can just show the skill show, like in the skill presentation. Uh, let me see where it is. It was up here. Um, hit damage. Um, the first hit damage is like okay. Extra hit is uh, quite good. Uh, seven hits, so a good amount of damage. Critical hit rate 100 PV only, 40% only PVP. 11% accuracy rate which is quite good. I think it's all like okay, it's good. Super ammo using the skill and a down attack modifier, and that is what it looks like. It looks kind of a bit like block jump into some other skill. <laughs> But there's definitely no iframe to attach to it, so... Yeah, I think it's a really cool skill for Kuno, another super armor skill. Long, a bit long animation though, I think the, maybe you can cancel it. Um, Kuno players have to judge on that one and have to see um, if it's good or not. Also, like I said before, like maybe we can get see some changes to those skills. But I think it's a cool skill, another super armor skill for Kuno, but with apparently high damage. So, um, yeah. Let's move on to the next class. Alright, next up we have the Witch. Um, Awakened Witch got um, a new ranged skill. Um, it is a decent amount of hits, two hit stages, 50% um, crit rate, 20% accuracy, which is really huge, but it's a witch. Uh, forward guard, arrow attack, down attack modifier, and um, that, it, that is what it looks like. It's in a relatively low cooldown. It's I think it's fixed range, so... Oh no, it's not. Okay, it's not fixed range, so you can actually... It moves with, with your camera, what is cool, so you have... Yeah, that's that's a good skill. That's definitely uh, a good skill. So frontal guards just applied, so um, need to be careful in some situations. But 
I think it's a really cool addition to the Awakening kit since you like um, uh, range skills in Awakening. I mean, which wizards are not class that don't need that, but uh, yeah, I mean, they're, yeah, but uh, yeah, you do get what I mean. Um, however, I think that's a really cool skill. Um, and yeah, I think people will like it. And let's move on to Wizard then. <laughs> Alright, next up we have the wizard, and um, the wizard got also a really cool skill in the awakening, it's, um, like I said, I have no idea what it's called. It's uh, also, it's uh, like, um, one hit max 10 hits, it has 100% uh, crit rate in PvE, PvP, 20% crit rate, burn dot 360, damage every 3 seconds for 80 seconds, and rotate super armor and down attack modifier, and that is what it looks, what it looks like. I think that's a really cool skill, and the range of that is incredible, like, it's really good. It's like... The floor is made of fire. <laughs> it's a really cool thing, uh, really cool skill, I like it. I think it also gives the wizard a bit more, like, range capability in Awakening Cap. Um, same as Witch, like, I think Witch is a bit, like, further range-wise, but I think it's a really cool skill. Especially because the range is huge, you um, inflict burn dots with every tick, like a good amount of burn damage. And probably the skill will be super strong. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the new skill for Awakening Wizard. Last, we have uh, Guardia, and f like a skin for. Sorry for Guardia players, but um, I'm testing with Global App a lot, and I have limited space. I don't have a Guardia at the moment, and I forgot to delete my second Sork. Um, so I just can't show the patch notes. Many of you will probably have seen this already. Um, this is the translated patch notes from the from the Global App. Uh, this is the new Guardia skill here. I probably can make it bigger a bit so you can see it a bit better. This is what it looks like. Um, it has a decent amount of damage. Uh, it's unsafe though, but it has an iframe in it, like the movement part of it. It's an iframe. It doesn't say this in the skill description though, so I was a bit like surprised by that. Maybe they will add this later. Could be that this day just like the guy that wrote this description is just, yeah. Mess this up, I don't know. Can happen on roll up. 3% uh, accuracy. Uh, this is definitely a CC, a f maybe float, bound, or knockdown. Um, down, probably down attack modifier or add attack, add attack modifier, but 3% accuracy, 100% crit rate. This is definitely only, I think it's only PvE. It could also be PvP only, but if there's just one line, it's most likely only PvP and only, only PvE, not PvP, but of course. Um, it also could be PvP, but uh, yeah. I think it's a really cool uh, skill. A bit more... If you can cancel the the skill after the movement part, maybe Guardia has another iframe. Um, so, yeah, but Guardia players have to judge on that skill. And sorry again that I can't show, show it actually in-game. But, uh, yeah, sometimes just like the way it is. <laughs> so, um, next week we, pro we get changes, like I said, this week already. Um, but I will not showcase them now. I will wait for the next for also for the changes for those skills we got today. And then next week I go over all skills again and see what how the finalized version is now. And um, yeah, because also the developers um, they wait for the feedback and if they're happy with the feedback, and um, then they leave it or they change stuff. And yeah, guys. So thanks for watching. Leave a sub and a like, and see you next time.